again to uh, my uh, YouTube channel. This time I have a bit of a little uh, game console, you can call it, gaming device. It uh, uses the Nokia LCD screen, the color LCD, and it has a PSP joystick, so you can move things. Actually, I, have, uh, I haven't programmed any uh, test program to use this yet. You have a D-pad, you have up, down, you have right, left, center, you have the X button, you have the O button, you have a 1, 2, 3 choice button. So I will show you uh, a little bit more about this device and uh, well, what you can do with it. Okay, I will now show you what uh, all different things we have inside of this. Uh, this is a charging plug where you can put uh, in the voltage to charge the battery because it actually has a rechargeable battery. An iPod with you, 1050 hours battery that is rechargeable. Uh, I should show you like this. So, and uh, we actually have an uh, onboard wireless connection, not like wireless network or something, but my kind of wireless network, which I also, by the way, have uh, succeeded to make work very good. I use a copper antenna instead of a steel antenna this time, so we have a receiver and a transmitter, so together it's a transceiver. And as you notice, we have two chips. They are both the same chip. It's a PIC H&F 4685. And we have a LED. We have 256 kilobytes of internal uh, onboard EE Perron memory. And as you see, all the buttons. We have a total of 10 buttons here. We have the 130 by 130 pixel color display. It's uh, capable of showing uh, 4096 colors and the PSP analog joystick. So, yes, and also we have the iPod with your battery here. It's re re rechargeable, 3.7 volt. In uh, this chip that uh, takes care of pretty much everything, this chip takes care of uh, the LED, the EE Piron, the joystick all the buttons and the display. So, why do you have two ships? Because this ship, this ship uh, takes care of everything and also it uh, has a library programmed in so it can uh, take care of the display like doing, it. well for example it has the Brass and Ham's line algorithm inside so you can, uh, you can send uh, commands from this ship to this ship to display things here, and that releases uh, a lot of uh, CPU time for this chip. Uh, like yeah, yeah. Like we have the Bresenham line algorithm, uh, Bresenham line algorithm, which uh, which means that if you if you want to have a line between uh, here somewhere, you actually tell this chip yes, you should start with a pixel here to here, and uh, the algorithm calculates how all the other pixels between those two pixels should be, so it's, it will be a, as good line as possible. And it actually works uh, from backward to forward and forward to backward in all directions. And uh, what more? It can uh, it has a library for box, line, pixel, invert LCD, LCD fill, LCD clear, LCD sleep, uh, LCD wake up, increase contrast, decrease contrast, read I2C memory, write I2C memory, LED, also, uh, I mean, that means toggle the LED, LED, button check. And uh, when you do button check, uh, the ship uh, actually checks all the button and the joystick, and then uh, it uh, returns the value well, of all the, those buttons and the joystick to this ship. Uh, and uh, it can draw rectangle, field box, field circle, and the field rectangle. 
so far the only ones that I haven't been able to make is uh, circle and uh, field circle. And it's uh, possible of showing 26 by 26 uh, characters. I have made a font table inside this, so it's actually filled with all the fonts uh, from ABC and uh, uh, yeah, you know the ASCII table. Uh, so far, it doesn't do too much. I will show you.